Hi y'all, Hope, hopefully this isn't too windy. Um, Brian did a little filming for Midlife Crisis Channel, but I'm gonna do this to show what he just did. Uh, so this has been our power for the last, March 5th will be three years. Wow, that's like, not well, that far. we didn't have this on March 5th. Oh, that's true. This came in April. Okay, so we were here for a month before we got this power? Eh, almost two. Almost two months we were here and used a generator. So now he is moving this because he's going to put uh, the plumbing pipe for our house, our straw bale house that we're building. We'll go from here. Over to here is where the pipe, he has it all dug out there. Um, oh boy, here comes the winds. There, that's the uh, sewer pipe that the RV is plugged into. So this is called a grounding rod and there's a copper tube that's, this little copper tube that runs along here. It's a grounding rod. So I guess that, that might be the only problem we have left to deal with is where he's gonna, how he's gonna get this, this wire over, over here to connect to the copper rod. So what is, what is your, uh, what is your plan of, plan of action? <laughs> what are your intentions? <laughs> Inside joke. I... <laughs> There's the plug. He unplugged us. We're completely unplugged right now. So, so you're telling me we have no power until you get this rod thing fixed? No, no, no. Oh, you can go ahead and plug it in? That's a safety thing, which we need to so you don't take get... care of. But, I mean, we can plug back in. He moved it with the, uh, with the quad. So we got that done. That part's done. The hard, that's the hardest part, right? Yes. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> we hope. <laughs> All right. Well, <sighs> I hope that's, I thought, I thought that maybe you could just uh, try, try digging it out. Maybe the ground is softer than you think. What are you talking about? The grounding rod? Yeah, because I'm gonna try. there's a, I'm going to try because if I can get the grounding rod out, I can just move it over here, pound it in the ground here, hook this up, and we're done. Oh, that would be if awesome. If I can't get it out, I have to make I have to make this long enough to reach that. Um, I was looking at it over there, and because of those gopher holes, that might have actually helped things because <laughs> make the, the eight, ground a little... Eight feet's a long way. Oh. That yeah. goes eight feet into the ground. Eight not, feet? Not two or three, eight. Oh, so it's in there. Didn't CJ say he could? He said potentially come over, he potentially could try and, grab and, it and pull it with his with his tractor. But it's Sunday. Know. Maybe he could. I don't know. Anyway, that's what that's what we uh, gophers made him a little made him a little home underneath underneath the trailer. I have to use my camera for a second. I have to, I have to still make sure we're pointing south. Oh, okay. We're close, but I want to get as close as we can be. Because we'll be here for a little while again. Yeah. Um, this is... These all on this side still have to be filled up. And then those tires over there are going to... He's going to make a, a second row that comes along here and fill those in and then the house will be on the inside of that so this the where the tires are will will be like the porch area and an overhang what oh my gosh i just thought of it <laughs> i plugged his phone in but we don't have any power so that oh well that does not help anything <laughs> oh well uh we can plug it in after we get plugged in wow Someday we're going to have a lot more power. <laughs> That'll be nice. 